I'm Jeff Nimnick. And I'm Rick Paulette. And we're the hosts of The Last Stand. Coyote hunting is my passion. And coyote calls are my livelihood. And together we aim to bring you the best predator hunting tips, tricks, and tactics right down to The Last Stand. The Last Stand, presented by Lucky Duck Predator Calls. We are the masters of deception. Swagger Bipods. Shoot with confidence. Shoot with swagger. Onyx Hunt. Know where you stand. Hornady. Accurate. Deadly. Dependable. Pulsar. Image. Quality. Well, we are back. Never really left. No. You know, you <laughs> got a little less sleep than anybody else. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm still, I'm rolling. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Well, last night was a phenomenal night of thermal hunting. Yep. You know, we, by the time we got back to, to your place and got settled in, it was like about 2.30, kind of up a little early getting stuff going, but yep. we're back at it. We're going to spend the afternoon calling raccoons. Probably the only reason I really come to Kansas anymore. Oh, uh, come on. Raccoon. You got to like that last night. That yeah, triple. last night was pretty good. Huh? Pretty good. Pretty good. But this raccoon stuff is fun. I don't want to hype it up because I yeah. know how you get. You don't want to yeah, jinx it. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it. A little, yeah, you never know. They might, maybe they ain't coming today. I don't know. We'll see. But it's I'm, an omen. The sun's fine. You know, the fog, as you saw from that last thermal episode, the fog set in about 930 last night. It was already, we're in town. It's still foggy, but yeah. Sun's finally breaking through. I'm not that it really matters for raccoons, but yep. but uh, hopefully the sun will come out and and we're gonna we're gonna call. I mean, we got Mike again with us. We're gonna jump on your side by side. We got what? How many how many miles of river right here? We're probably gonna run down through. Probably a half here. And half. Then, I mean, we're probably gonna hit three or four yeah. miles of river. Yeah. You know that makes it nice on these side by sides mm -hmm. doing this because you can just go bam bam. You can just yep. hit it real fast to drive it. It's kind of muddy and stuff and. So yeah, we're gonna pile into this. We're gonna go, we're gonna be targeting more den trees probably down here yeah, or yeah. root balls. What do you think? I don't know. I don't, I don't really, well, yeah, I would say. I've never really been down. I've never, these spots here I haven't been with. It's all Mike stuff, so it's all new. I suppose we'll just go a couple hundred yards and let her rip, a couple hundred, like, you know. Yeah, like we did last yeah. year on that one episode where yeah. he was working at Crick Bottom. We didn't really know exactly where they were, but we might find some exact, you know, trees that we target yep. down in there and stuff. But yeah, that's gonna be the name of the game you're going to run the shotgun we got i got old doc and i got wyatt <laughs> and uh mike little, little 22 is all it is and i'm pretty i'm going to try for a head shot right close all right mike's going to back me up with a 10 gauge i'm glad we got the 10 gauge for raccoons it's not overkill or anything oh no, you got to kill them good <laughs> if you're going to kill them kill them good <laughs> All right, well, let's load up and let's, uh, let's go after. We're gonna hit it hard for four or five hours and see how many we can pile up. Shoot him. Get him again. <laughs> All right, well, first attempt with a 22, I didn't get the freaking safety off, and I was like, uh, uh, uh. oh no. <laughs> You guys cleaned up after me. Yeah, he was just a little baby one. He didn't want to come in and really fight. Oh, I had him right there facing me, so <laughs> I, I just didn't, I didn't get the freaking safety off. Well, once again, not really targeting anything, right? Like this is just a bunch of timber down here. Yep. He come right down this trail, like he was coming pretty good, but you could tell he's a little one. He wasn't wanting to yeah. really hey, bomb the call. You know, the other thing I had to, I had turned to revolt Super Revolt was pointing that way, and it's like he had to get, <laughs> get out there before he figured out it was over here. <laughs> that shows you how that 
sends that sound. Oh, yeah. Them. All right, let's go get me one. <clears throat> Tough little guy, he took some lead. Yeah, he's not a very big one. A lot of times these young ones, they'll, they'll get curious. Sometimes they'll be the ones that'll hit the ground and run the other way, but we're looking for ones about twice that size that are gonna tackle that super volt. Shoot them. All right. Huh? You shoot them with your eyes open or closed? I just, I just had to hold still because the thing was looking at me the whole time. And then when I finally decided to shoot, he was already leaving. Where did you see? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see him until he come left of that big tree right there. You just come around that sucker. I just, when I saw him out of the corner of my eye, I'm like, I can't move. I'm just going to. If he runs, <laughs> I'll let you guys shoot him. You put a couple in him, problem with the 22 long rifle, you know, hitting him in the head. Yeah. It's it's not killing him. He was hobbling up through there, but I never had a clear 20. shot. And I didn't I know, want to... I know I got some in him, but not when it counted right here in the <laughs> head, you know. But I think I'm going to put this thing away and get Doc out for a couple stands. <laughs> All right. Well, we've only cut him. We're probably only, what, 100 yards, 150 yards from where we just killed that last raccoon. We just come down a little bit. That's what's cool about this. You get a stretch of river, you can make. Yeah. We're just calling timber. We don't really know where these, these raccoons are. There's no specific spot. So we're just setting up. And this one, come. I don't know if it come out of the down log logs over here or where, but he just showed up right to our left. But Yeah, the worst possible place <laughs> for me to come from. I'm like, oh, no, I can't even move. He's looking right Hey, they're me. coming to the call, though. Coming to the call. So I gotta get a little satisfaction. Give me a couple here and then I'll get the pistol back out. I ain't got no shells. <laughs> you out of shells? Yeah, I'm out of shells. <laughs> I'm ready to go back to the 22 now. Because <laughs> my freaking shoulder hurts. There was at least a bunch. These little ones kept palming out of this one tree. <laughs> I was kind of mad you didn't shoot that one. I didn't think he'd come. I was getting ready to shoot him, and then this other one, Mike saw this other one coming where there's a group of three or four of them deeper in there, about 
I don't know, 60, 80 yards. They just hit the ground and they didn't. No, that's fine. That was a good shot there. And what do we got? <laughs> Four of them laying here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the stand we were looking for. <laughs> that second one, when he stopped and looked up and you hit him, <laughs> gee, it just, I mean, it tipped him right over. <laughs> yeah, he, this did one. A, he did a backward somersault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that ought to be some pretty good action. Yeah. Huh? You probably could see me some, couldn't you? Oh, man. Pile of coons. Rick, you can carry this little baby one. I might be able to handle that. Yeah, I did not think that one was ever going to come. I was like, Jeb, you should have shot it. You should have shot it. And then it kept climbing up. It was probably kind of cool. I yeah. couldn't see it climbing. All. I just seen it on the ground. And then that is a little puff ball in yeah. it. Was it, that the second one? This is the little, the, no, the first one I just picked. Was that the second one that come and he checked up by right here and yeah. you just blew him over backwards? Yep, yep. Yeah. So Under these the, are bigger ones that actually came last. I couldn't quite ever get any shots of the other ones. That's what we're talking about. The old quad. Oh, look at that. In the face. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, let's load them up. Let's go do it again. Well, it's my time to shine now. I get to sit on the call with the pistol. 22 long rifle, gonna have to head shoot him. So I'm gonna actually start, instead of letting them get right to the call and then kind of spook off, I'm gonna try to shoot them out there as they're about five foot from the call. My, my tactic is if I happen to miss, maybe the call's so loud they don't even know they're getting shot at and they'll just keep running and I'll get multiple headshots at them. You know, because 22, if they turn around and run off, 22 in the butt ain't gonna do nothing to them. So if Rick pushes the right buttons, this is gonna happen. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> it worked. I missed him on the first shot, but he didn't know what happened. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I there was too many limbs and stuff, and this freaking coyote killer, Jeff, what, must six, be on six, about. You couldn't find the raccoon at six power at six feet. I was <laughs> having a little. I'd get on him, but then he, he wouldn't stop. So then he, I couldn't keep track. Yeah, I took a little bit of. That might have been harder to. A little twenty two's killed a lot of stuff, Jeff. That's Usually. a fun little gun, man. I like that. Oh man, it's awesome. Usually the stuff it killed was in a trap, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, a twenty two long rifle is effective for raccoons. You just got to head shoot. Yeah. I mean, it's just sure. no. The great thing about when you're calling them, if you're just trying to kill them, shotguns are by far the best. It yeah. seems like just to try we're, to. We're trying to challenge each other. Yeah. Yeah. Now you got one up on me for sure. I think I'm gonna have. You gonna try another stand or two with it, or you gonna let nah, me take Nah, yeah, I'll over? let you. Let you get one now. But, you know, back to these last two stands, you know, we killed the quad. We came up the, the river here like a couple hundred yards, killed this double. Um, you're switching sounds. You're starting off with raccoon distress, too, for what, yep. about two, two minutes, three minutes? Three, maybe. And then you were switching to a different one. And yeah. each of these last two stands, the second raccoon showed up yeah. when we switched that sound. It's almost like coyotes, almost like yeah, it is. you shoot yeah. and, and then you switch to a different pup distress. And sometimes the new coyotes come running in. That's almost like what it's like with these raccoons. So. Pretty similar. 
but just uh, the sound that triggers them. Yeah. Well, especially after you shoot a little bit, and these ones, these maybe less aggressive ones that are the later mm -hmm. ones to come running yeah. in, that different sound kind of gets them up and, and coming. This one over here I shot, I don't know if he was actually trying to swing around to get here. You know, I, I thought he might come, and then he got up on the branch, and I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then well, I was looking through your scope. And looked, I told him, like, turn it down a little bit. No, don't go no, any lower. Six and, and a half. Is <laughs> six and a half at seven yards. You could have hit on the, hit, flipped the red dot on, but I think the dang battery might be dead in it. But All right, that was a productive run. We got uh, another couple hours here to hunt this afternoon, so we're going to. Head back, load up on the trailer, and, and head to a new spot. Things always happen when we like get these great ideas. We're gonna mount a GoPro on top of the call, hopefully, and then we get too, we almost too patient on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I was trying to turn the call to point when I saw where he was coming from, and then when I looked up, I, I just, I waited till he burgered out of there. I thought maybe Mike could go ahead and hammer him, but he waited till he was disappearing. Jeff, what were you doing? I was filming with my phone. Oh, gee, many. <laughs> Well, I don't have a shotgun. The raccoon's like six yards. I'm like, I took a couple half-assed shots going through the trees, but I never had a really good shot. I was hitting branches and stuff. Yeah, I won't let that happen again. <laughs> uh, well, he bit the call. Knocked right in. Yeah, I saw him. I like, I like to listen to him. He like, was growling. That one was mean. Putting out some attitude to that call when he got up there, like. Him, he kicked the mud right. <laughs> Kick the mud onto the snow right here. Well, we're down to our last stand of the afternoon. It's a little past four o'clock. Had a hell of a fun afternoon. Yeah. You know, but we got to go back, get ready to go kill them thermal coyotes, you know. So, uh, got a little pocket here. We got a cornfield, which is always good. Yep. Food. We got five or six big, kind of gnarly trees back in there. I don't know. We're just gonna loop around the wind's kind of blowing here so we're gonna loop out around this cornfield kind of get in on the edge and rip the call and see if we can make some last stand magic happen huh imagine that no last stand magic i can't even call a coon in on the last stand <laughs> Uh, well, that was a fun afternoon. You know, that was really what we were expecting. I mean, I think we shot eight. Could have got a couple more that got away. Yeah, for so sure. yeah, I mean, very easily if we were a little more serious and really mm -hmm. just about the killing part, instead yeah. of trying to get cool footage, we could have got 10, mm -hmm. 10 or 11 pretty easy, you know. So that's what you want when you're talking about predator management, um, which is an important part of, you know, everything, you know, on if you have deer leases, turkey leases, whatever, you know, thinning out these raccoons is, is important because the trappers aren't aren't going after them anymore because the fur markets, yep. You know, and unfortunately these raccoons ain't worth nothing really. You yeah. know, I mean we're just, yeah, killing them to kill them, I guess if you want to call it that. But uh, you know, it's something that's important that needs to be done because if, if we're not doing it, nobody's doing it, and before you know it, you know, Mother Nature takes yep. care of them. So, so yeah, you know, like I said, it's a fun thing. You know, I know you take your grandkids and yep. new kids out. My boys love doing it. It's just something that's super easy, super fast. I mean, how many yeah. stands we crank out this afternoon in about three four hours you know yeah i don't even know but a bunch you can do a bunch quick especially if you got a ranger and you can buzz along a creek system or river that's got works better i think where there's corn along it because they're eating the corn you know and when it comes to calling coyotes versus calling raccoons way easier like a yeah. lot less things you got to worry about and think about when you're calling raccoons it's almost pretty much push play and crank it to max yeah. volume and 
sit there four or five minutes, and if they don't show up, it's on to the next spot. So they will wind you though, like a coyote. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You worry about that a little bit, which is kind of what as you're if you're a coyote hunter, you'll kind of be thinking about that right, anyway, yeah, you know. Sure. But uh, no, we're gonna head back to town, get a little supper, regroup, put the good cold weather gear on. It's gonna be cold. It's it's you can already feel the temperature dropping. So stay tuned for this next episode. It's gonna be our second night here in uh, in Kansas with the thermal. Hopefully the fog stays away a little bit and. We could maybe get a 10 coyote night, huh? We'll see. I'd sure like to quit at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And we're all we're all kind of dragging right now. Uh, but ah, we'll get our second win. And uh, you know, but then stay tuned. We're gonna be back after raccoons tomorrow, so you're gonna see that on another upcoming episode uh here in a couple weeks. So stay tuned and uh should be good. Weather's looking great. So appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you next time right here on the last stand. Yeah. <laughs>